So that's cool Absolutely. to see. Let's talk about another massive highlight of yours from 2023 from the last 12 mm. months. And uh flashed up the picture earlier, but oh, there yeah. you go. Uh, the, the golden boy with the gold, the BWR Cruiserweight champion. And that was another huge accomplishment, huge milestone of yours That's in 2023. Mm. Uh, I love some of these photos, um, especially the, the black and white one there. Just, you know, just you can just sense the mood and sense the atmosphere from that photo mm. alone. Um, but uh, it was at this show here, wasn't it? The Revolution was Roulette, 23rd of September, when it all went down. And yeah. uh, this was a shot directly after winning the championship with your boys, Reese and Rogan, the BWR Tag Team Champions, former guests on the show as well. Great boys. But uh, talk us through that whole occasion, because I know that you've got a bit of history with BWR. I think you, you've won yeah. their underground championship before several other accolades and big championship wins. Uh, but that's got to be your kind of your biggest accomplishment so far, certainly yeah. in BWR. And that's a similar one to NGW in terms of going from one place to now. With BWR, I got brought in like three, four years ago as a throw together tag team. Not Didn't get brought back. And I got told there wasn't space on the card for me. And a, a, another journey of main, event, main eventing in July also winning the underground championship like previous year and then also yeah. getting a cruiserweight championship in october it's another journey of of growth of i've started from the bottom of the company and now i'm slowly working my way to the top and i think that's definitely mirrored in other places as well so it was a cool definitely a cool situation and bd is one of my favorite places to rest at because of this story that's happened from where i am to now <laughs> Absolutely. And I think, you know, similar to the NGW story and, and, and winning the BWR Cruiserweight Championship, it's a bit of justification for you and for all your hard work with that mm. group and, you know, the last five or six years in the business. Um, and, and also, you know, it, it kind of justification for the promotion to kind of say, right, you know, I'm going to put the strap on this guy on this guy um, because uh, they've worked hard and they deserve yeah. it. So it's, a, it's uh, acknowledgement, I think. I think that's um, why as as a kid, we always wanted to win a wrestling belt. And obviously, as you get into into the actual industry, you, you, your mindset changes in terms of championships. But at the end of the day, it's a way a company acknowledges you as, okay, we believe in you for this aspect of the show. We're going to run with you. So it's almost like a nod of approval from them that you're doing a good job and we Absolutely. like you and see where you go. Yeah, and I brought their picture up a moment ago, but we've got to talk a little bit about Reese and Rogan because, like I say, former guests on the show, uh, one of the best tag teams on the scene today in the UK. Mm. I know they're more Northern-based, but to be honest with you, like yourself, they deserve to be absolutely everywhere. And I think they've had maybe a similar journey to yourself. I think that you know they've been on the scene a similar length of time and taken a, yeah. a similar path to yourself. Um, fellow champions in BWR, tag team champions, as I've just explained. Um, but And they're also pretty tight with yourself whether it be in storyline or uh, outside of the wrestling ring, aren't they? Yeah, I seem to be glued to R&R um, &R everywhere <laughs> I go. I can't get away from them. Uh, yeah. yeah, good little group there, uh, BWR and NGW. NGW. Um, mm. Yeah, they're hard hitters. And they, it's, an easy, it's an easy setup in the sense of I like to tell them what to do uh, in, and then it happens. So it's, it works visually. It works in terms of actual performance. Um so it just works. It, it's yeah. a nice little combo that we've got there. That's it. And if it will go sideways, you've got two big, uh, two big guys to jump in and help you exactly. out. Exactly, exactly. Or they can just distract people, and then I win. So it's yeah, absolutely, a, it's a nice and little situation there. I, I don't know how many times you've defended the championship. I think it's just the once, and I just think once. it's this match here against uh, former cruiserweight champion uh, Robbie X, and, and also dare I say it, the former heavyweight champion of BWR yes. as well, because uh, uh, Robbie was the heavyweight champion when I had him on my show probably a couple of years ago. This is the moment when uh, it all went down, and you got the pinfall over Robbie. And uh, your tweet last night: I beat one of the best cruiserweights in the world uh, all by myself. I am the cruiserweight king. Uh, yes. But, uh, I mean, you know Robbie very, very well. And uh, similar to R&R, &R, you know, you, you've been not necessarily joined at the hit with Robbie X, but I know that you've had your encounters with Robbie over the years yeah. uh, for one group or another. Um, but uh, once again, talking of highlights for 2023, getting the win um, over the former BWR heavyweight and cruiserweight champion, uh, quite a big deal. And once again, a kind of bit of justification and uh, a tip of the hat for uh, where the company see you going for you know 2024? 
Yeah, absolutely. Like that, that was a really fun match that I had. And actually, not many people know this. I actually wrestled that match ill. So, oh. or like, or just coming off. I, I think that morning <clears throat> I was ill. So, whether I'm technically ill or not, but I was either just ill or just coming off an illness. So, but to be able to go 20 minutes with one of the best in the one of the best cruiserweights in the country, arguably one of, one of the best cruiserweights in the world, um, being able to go 20 minutes with him was, and be able to prove that I can go 20 minutes is a cool, is a cool thing to do. And yeah. to win at the end of the day is um, always nice. It's always Absolutely. Nice. Absolutely. 